Back to the action, as you see we got another one of those odd 8-bit thingies from one of these pots here. And yeah, it's Mega Man, baby! Oh yeah! <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's now go through this, wait a second, hold on a second here. Oh, I need this broom actually. Oh wait, no, I don't need it just yet. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Or maybe I do need it. Uh, oh, I do need the broom poopers. I'm gonna have to go back down. And the only way back down from up here at this moment is to step on this trap door here. This guy will pull the switch and you fall down to the bottom. That also prevents you from going to the other side. So, yeah, let's grab the broom and now go through here. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright, you remember how to switch around items, you rotate your wrist upward, and then you'll be able to switch around the item that you're holding, just like this. Oh yeah, and now we got the handle, let's poke this handle, just like this. I mean, let's poke it right here. Okay. Like, there we go. That'll make a piece of that puzzle fall down to the bottom area, and also make that whatever spill out of it. That stuff is ink, by the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's it's kind of weird because you know the paintings. And let's go and let's go mop this up right here. Oops, no, oh, not like that. And flip, there we go. Mop away, baby. Oh yeah, we're back to being a merry maid. <laughs> Yay! It's a pink broom. Okay, now let's grab the piece from here. Oh wait, I don't have to grab that just yet, do I? I can. I'll, I'll leave that for later. And let's go through here. Whoa! Yeah! Alright, now, let's go back over to this guy right here. This odd eyeball painting right here. And you'll notice that the, uh, whenever you have the broom or you have the stick, there's nothing that you can do about this guy. You can poke him. You can s slap his hand away. Hey, I said slap, there we go. <laughs> but absolutely nothing works. That's why you need your paint broom. And let's paint over his face. Yeah, take that, dude. <laughs> and now paint of all things makes him get his hand off the lever. Oh, I mean, come on. Paint of all things makes his hand go away. Uh, okay, now we can go across there. But we don't have to just yet. We are going to go over here. We're going to knock this painting off the wall right here. Just like that. And that looks kind of weird. So let's just jump down into the well, which takes us to the next down, I mean, goes down to the old area. And I don't think we need the broom anymore. Um, we do need, do need the faucet. And now we're gonna go back in the door. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in this one, but it doesn't take too long to do so, so it's kind of fun, actually. And, well, I guess no, I guess backtracking really isn't that much fun, but you know, for the sake of the puzzle, it is. Remember the fish way back on the Lake Guardian? Well, see, there's a, there's the uh, gold piece that we need. Well, if we try and grab that right now, we will die. The fish will come out of the painting and kill us. So let's just put the faucet right there. Let's stick it right there. Now let's grab the handle. And let's drain the water from it by turning that uh, faucet thing in. Would you look at that? The painting is actually a fish tank. And yeah, the fish goes away. You absolutely have to put that uh, faucet handle at the bottom of the tank because otherwise it, it won't work. It, it, it won't drain enough water to scare the fish away. And we got another gold fragment over here. So let's go down the well. Woo! Uh, Oh shoot, I need to uh, do something. Don't die. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i just do this piece right away. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, grab that. Yeah. And yeah, don't grab the thorns. The thorns hurt your hand. Yeah, you can actually hurt yourself with the thorns on, that, on these sort of paintings. And yeah, we're gonna put piece number three into place right away. Just like this. Oh, it goes right there, whatever. I'll click back over to the painting door. That makes absolutely no sense. But what things in gaming really do make sense? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, now, for the last piece, what do I have to do for the last piece? I think I have to do one of these things. It's kind of drop it off. Maybe I have to drop it off on here. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. Okay. Like I see, I kind of forgot this level a little bit. Oh, see, he's still got ink in his eyes. Now grab that. Pull down. Yeah, I pull down. Thank you. <laughs> there, that drops the puzzle piece to the la next floor. And that's it. All I have to do is put the last piece in place. And this level is as good as done. 
Yeah, no, I got it kind of going on the well again. Because <laughs> that guy isn't there to spring the trap to knock, to knock you down to the next level, but that's okay. I mean, to the bottom floor. Or I should say this is actually the first floor. This is no basement right here. And, yeah, this is not a basement. This is a painting room. But you look at that, we've got a treasure chest! <sighs> it's over! <laughs> That's O-V-A! <laughs> and open the treasure to get something! <laughs> yeah, it's another piece of Barbaros' treasure. It's another anchor. And uh, grow anchor. Ooh, lot shinier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Pop it in place. Shoulder bone. <laughs> or maybe that's the shoulder pads. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh! I was getting all excited again, and there's the loading screen of death. <sighs> oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> and back to pirate headquarters, I guess. And we're going to go to the next one. Um, which one should I do? Mirror Mirror or Mad Science? I think I'm gonna do Mad Science. Because I, because I just don't remember Mirror Mirror all that much. You know, how the puzzle is done and stuff like that. So I'm going to, uh, uh, yeah, do Mad Science. And hopefully I'll get like a unbrain fart or something. Maybe I'll have that brain fart and the gas will come out and I'll remember how this works. Okay, we've got a torture cell over there at the bottom right corner as you've seen there with a skeleton all tied up and that's where the treasure is hidden. And uh, yeah, let's let's start this level. And oh, oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, we got another mini game. I'm not going to do it in this part just yet, but I'm going to pop it open. I'm going to shake this tree though. Shakey, 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 shakey. And oh my god, it's a centipede. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, yay! Like we can grab the Cinesaur right away. Woo! And I'm just gonna drop it because I'm gonna grab this rock. And, uh, you'll see why in just a second. I'm gonna saw this tree down for absolutely no reason. It doesn't seem to be any reason to saw this tree down. Oh, that felt good though. <laughs> but you do get some Harami, Harami Q points. By the way, uh, back growl up time. Oh yeah! Okay, we've got two. We need all the animals in this area, and I'll show you why. Because we've got a mad scientist laboratory right here. I'm gonna drop this off over here, and I'm gonna go grab the Batbrella real quick. Just to save us some- wait, actually, maybe I'll do this. Just to save us some even more time. Let's, let's click on Mr. Snake over here. Can I click on Mr. Snake? I'd like to be able to click on Mr. Snake. I thought I could click on the snake. Uh, maybe I can't. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna grab the Batbrella and bring it also over to the machine and try and figure out the snake puzzle. I forgot how the snake thing works. You should be able to click on the snake and it'll come out of the hole. But I'm gonna drop that off there and I'll see you guys in the next part where we hopefully figure out how to get that snake out of the hole. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can click on.